your character knows from the age of seven that he wants to be a, polit a, a, a president. I was wondering after watching you perform last night, when you were a baby, did you cry in key <laughs> when you did your nursery rhymes? Did you sing the way you do? Did you always know that you had this talent? I think I always knew that I wanted to perform. I started doing theater at sort of a youth program that me and all my siblings went to when I was about five, six years old and started working professionally in the theater when I was eight. And so I think immediately, as soon as I had enough sort of consciousness and understanding to understand the concept of doing something as a career or for a living, there was no question in my mind that that's what I wanted to do. My, my, my father's in the business as well, and so I think they were apprehensive about that because obviously it's a, it's a rough place to make a living and it's a tough sort of life of, of letdowns and things like that. But I think as soon as they saw that I had the ability to back up how much I loved it, they were very supportive. Um, talk very quickly about your relationship with Ryan. Why this show, this character? You know, I've always been a huge admirer of his. Glee was my high school sort of second coming. I mean, we, we, we worshipped it. I went to see the live tour and everything. And you know, I love all of his work. And I, he came to see uh, Dear Evan Hansen was the musical that I was doing in New York. And he was very complimentary afterwards and, and said he would love to, to make something together. And I thought, you know, this is Ryan Murphy, so maybe this will happen, maybe it won't. But I'm happy to, to even meet him. And then shortly thereafter, we, we met, and he had this very particular and well-flushed-out vision for this show and for this character. And I think the reason I knew right away that it was the right choice was, A, because he was allowing me to executive produce alongside him, which would allow me some sort of creative ownership and understanding of the piece. The way that I have in theater, but haven't really quite had the opportunity yet to do on camera. And B, that it was a character that was in a very different range of emotion and personality than who I had just played. So that was exciting to me. This character... Um, has unconditional love from his mom yes. that carries him through. I was wondering, was there ever a stage in your life where, and maybe not career-wise, but you felt cornered and that your mom or your dad came through and gave you that special talk? Is it something you could share with us? A million. I mean, every, every possible turn that I can think of. I think, you know, the one that comes to mind is when I finished high school, I was supposed to go to college at Columbia, and right at the last minute, like a week before I was supposed to leave, I was cast in Pitch Perfect in the Universal film, and I was having this real crisis of conscience because I, um, all my siblings before me had gone to college, and it was something that I was very passionate about and wanted to do, and, and yet my, my greatest love at the bottom of my heart was just to, to work and to perform, and I knew that I didn't want to pass that opportunity up, and I think my parents both recognized that in me and, and really told me, you know, there's, you won't be letting anyone down or disappointing anyone by following your dream and doing what you love. And, it's gone well since then. Well, we're glad that you're continuing to succeed. Can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.